What's going on, my people? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Appreciate y'all for tuning back in. Uh, I've been a little bit busy uh, streaming on Sundays, recording a lot of videos for you guys. Uh, coming up for this walkthrough that I got for y'all. A funny, funny walkthrough, matter of fact. But check this out. I told y'all we'll come back with y'all with some 2K news, and that's what I'm here for. Uh, basically, we're going to be talking about uh, some more leaks, which, um, which, uh, which uh, 2K uh, edition should you get? Uh, also, we're gonna talk about the GameStop edition, the $200 edition that they got, and a couple of tweaks. Uh, and then also, it is apparently supposed to be a different part, but uh, I got a little secret to that too that I've been researching and stuff like that. Uh, so, right here, <clears throat> this is the three editions that they have. Uh, you got the Dev 2K23, uh, the Devin Booker cover is $69.99 for next gen. Uh, but current gen is going to be fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, also, okay, the Michael Jordan edition is a hundred dollars, and then you have the NBA Two K Twenty Three Championship Edition, which is one hundred and fifty. Now, with that being said, don't get the Championship Edition if you really don't care about the twelve month lead pass, because uh, that's what you get. Basically, what you're paying for. I mean, yeah, you get the ten XP. Uh, boost and an a, a MJ theme go kart, but I mean, apparently people, a lot of people feeling like it's paid to win because they're doing a 10% uh, XP boost, and apparently it's supposed to be for the whole year, not just one specific season. Uh, it's just supposed to be for the whole year, so they try to get more people to buy that 150 dollars edition because of the league pass and the 10%. Nobody really cared about the MJ go kart. I guarantee. You. But if you're just a person that just like just want to play the game, Devin Booker is the way to go. You can buy your VC later on. If you don't too much play my team, so that'd be the you know the, the right way to go. We don't know how much VC gonna be just yet, but you know VC always goes up every year. And I think last year it took us like four hundred thousand just to fill up on your uh, my player to, to max out um, until you start building them up. A uh, hundred dollar edition is pretty cool. I said you play a little bit more if you're not like a casual player, if you're more of a competitive player, get the get the Jordan edition or the championship edition, but that, that's the best way to go. Like I told y'all, I'm getting the championship edition. I already pre-ordered my game. Uh, you know, so yeah, also, all right y'all, so the $200 edition will be uh, a 13 by 13 frame art print and a ticket. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all real quick what it is. This is what it looks like. So you got a ticket on the right hand side. Uh, that's just what it's gonna look like by itself. And then you got the 13, that's not a 13 by 13. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's not a 13 by 13 picture. That don't look like it to me. But this is what you get for $200. You get everything else, but you gotta pay an extra 50 for this. And I thought to myself, I was like, man, dang, like, you know, I'm thinking this is something like exclusive, like something like, you know, could have been signed, autograph, or something. Ain't do none of that. And I and I really thought about it until I until they finally came out with this. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what they selling us for GameStop. If you want to buy it, hey, that's you. You know what I'm saying? That's you. If you want to buy that, go ahead and spend your money. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think too many people are gonna actually buy this because it's not something in game. It's not something autograph. Uh, I think GameStop just doing this by themselves just to get the extra money, I'm assuming. So, this video right here um, is a jump shot, uh, the shot meter. Apparently, that the, I, I can't remember, man. The shot meter looks so familiar. I can't, we know we got a new shot meter. Um, so, Ryan 2K had uh, celebrities come and play. I'm not about to show y'all all the videos because y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen that. But we're going to see this one because. Uh, I was watching some YouTubers and seeing what they had to say about it. Um, I know the quality is really bad. If I could zoom in, I, I probably can. Uh, all right, right here at the bottom, as y'all see, that is to me looks like an energy bar. Um, you know, using your speed and dribble moves. I'm gonna say that's what that is. That's what that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, 
you know, he ain't, he's walking up the court, so it ain't like he's holding R2 or doing any type of dribble move. So we really can't know, we really don't know what that is. But to me personally, I think that's the energy with the speed and all that stuff. I think that's what it is. I think it's like three bars, it looks like. So, you know, once that third bar goes down, you're only gonna have two bars and stuff like that. That's what I think it is. Uh, you can see the shot meter right there. Uh, was it 2K16 and 17 shot meter like that? I don't know, bro. I haven't used a shot meter in about two, three years. Uh, once I realized that it was a shot meter, uh, you didn't have to do a shot meter no more. I was I was really happy that I didn't have to use a shot meter no more, honestly, because, dude, like, I don't know, it was just something about using shot meters, man. It was just, why use a shot meter? If you, if you can shoot, ain't no point, of, you know, ain't no point of using it. As y'all saw, that was a white that went in, too. I'm not too crazy about whites. I mean, it, don't, it don't bother me. Uh, if you hit a white, you hit a white. To me, honestly, I think that's lucky. When I see a white, I think you're going to miss, because if I don't see a green, then I'm not 100%. You know, okay, cool. It's 50 50. He probably gonna miss. He probably gonna make it. It is what it is. So, the rumors uh, apparently uh, is being a uh, what United is gonna be like with France, uh, somewhere else in the United States. They gonna have a park. Uh, they gonna have a park being built. And I'm like, uh, I was reading it, and apparently it's supposed to be fake. Uh, as y'all see, uh, Lick TV said uh, the city leak of NBA 2K23 is fake. Supposedly someone made a fake 3D model of the city, as you can see below in screenshots. So with that being said, people people really out here like that. People people really out here putting out fake news. Like you know you can get in real trouble for that. You know, so you had people excited about you know France, and then you got. Uh, you know, you send it to the to the leaks, to the people that actually put out the leaks, and then we come out here and, and we post on like YouTube. That's why I kind of like wait till everything settles down before I start really sitting there and saying like, "Oh, it's a new city coming." It's new. No, it ain't, we ain't we ain't heard nothing. Like it's cool that we that y'all like leaking it out, but sometimes y'all just be going overboard with these leaks, man. And this is this is crazy. Like to to do this. <laughs> Like bro took his, he probably took all day of his time to sit there and do all this. Like that's wild. He talented, I give him that, but nah. And we ain't falling for the okie though. So uh, DH said, uh, cruise ship if you turn the court courage in. So if you do have a courage in, you will be playing the cruise ship. I might be going to courage in half and half. I'm mainly gonna be on next gen, but courage in, I wanna see how it is. I wasn't able to see how it was this year, uh, but it's cool. I'm not tripping. The city is returning to next gen. That's how we know that for sure. Uh, 2K16, the people that made 2K16 uh, part is supposed to be making this year's. And uh, the people that's making, that made the city last year on 2K22 for next gen is going to be taking care of the current gen. Uh, hopefully, they let the current gen look good. I don't want, I hopefully, they take the pie charts out because it's time to, to throw out the pie charts over there, courage and get them what we got. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I don't. I don't want to say it ain't that hard. I don't know. I feel like it ain't that hard. Just you know, implement the builder on the next gen. Put it on courage gen and see how and let them see how it is for next gen. So they may spend that extra 100 200 dollars just to get that next gen. But you know, hey. Uh, we will be splitting two games apparently, but uh, Swante uh, on YouTube, uh, he said technically it's four. It's four, it's, it's going to be split into fours because you got Xbox current gen, PS4 current gen, uh, Xbox Series S and X next gen, and PS5 next gen. And I got that from him, and I wasn't even thinking about it like that until he actually said that. And I'm like, wow, he ain't lying. Cause some of us don't even have a, a, a current gen or a next gen. Cause some of us sold your current gen just to get the next gen. Or some people went back to the current gen and only play the next gen. Or some people just ain't even touch next gen. They can't get it. They can't get their hands on it. Uh, so we know seasons are coming back for both games apparently. Uh, we do have a new shot meter. And then MJ and D-Book is on the uh, covers. And the pre-order information, you know, 
everything's still the same. I know it was a uh, it was a rumor. My, my, uh, my uh, homeboy Cam told me he's like, "Hey man," he say, "Look, you heard about the league pass? It said instead of twelve, it's two months." I say, "Whoa, hold on, brother! You, I said, I know you love. You got to be love." And he showed me, and I'm like. Well, 2K ain't said nothing about it, and on, on the 2K uh, pre-order, it still said 12 months. So my heart was like, okay, cool, because I really was gonna go back down to the $100 edition if it was two months instead of 12 months. And like he said, everything else you heard or seen is fake. So stop believing all this stuff. You know, if it ain't coming from 2K Intel, which he kind of messed up this time, but. We all make mistakes, or it's not coming from 2K or some of the YouTubers you know that actually works with 2K. If it ain't them, don't worry about it. Like, stop worrying about it so much. It's and last but not least, man, more stuff is coming to you in August. So right now, it's mainly going to be leaks, speculations, assumptions, you know. It's going to be some. Uh, so we got the gameplay trailer in August, the Jordan Challenge which I talked about that uh, two days ago or three days ago. I'll put that up in the link up below, I mean above. Uh, you got the My NBA, which I'm, I like My, my NBA. Uh, I really play it uh, when it comes, once the game starts to die down, I start, I start to do leagues, I start to do uh, draft leagues and stuff like that for money and stuff like that. Basically. So my team, this is gonna be a big thing for this channel this year because I will be including my team on my channel. Uh, I do a lot of tournaments. I got into my team late last year of 2K22. I wasn't able to do it how I wanted to do it, but we're gonna do it this year. Uh, so of course my career and, and my city, I mean my career. <laughs> and of course my career in the city, those two are the main things we will be playing. Uh, we will still be playing head to head from time to time. Uh, but mainly we're gonna be doing my career, the city, and my team. Uh, if you haven't checked out those other videos I posted, I did post uh, the trailer on the first day it came out, and then I turned around and did the Jordan Challenge. The 10 Jordan Challenges we already know, we already know 10 Jordan Challenges. There's five more that they add. They just revamped those 10, add five more, and then we're gonna see. So in August, we're supposed to get all this. So. 2K may drop a bomb on us, we don't know. But until then, y'all relax, man, it's okay. The leaks will come, the fake news will come. You can't believe everything you see. You can't. You really can't. So real quick, we got some more city uh, leak uh, news. So it says, uh, it starts in the city. The city is yours for taking in the most immersive my career journey to date. Hunt your game. Okay, whatever, hunt your game build your brand and decide how you write your story on and off the court so they're doing that again on and off the court we don't know if it's going to be fashion music whatever however you want to do it uh choose your crew and take the best my players inside an all new city prime with breathtaking views arenas and courts ready to call your call next my thing is when i see crew mode i think of 2k11 2k10 mainly 2k11 Crew mode was like the best. You know what I'm saying? And when we and in 2K12, 2K13, if y'all know, they took it out. But then 2K14 on the PS3 version, they had my crew. You know, they had crew. They had that on there. Uh, but yeah. So when I see crew mode, like when I see when I see choose your crew, we all know 2K like to play with their words. Are they bringing back crew mode? I don't know but also it says uh make your name in the city the most expansive online basketball world yet for the xbox series xs or em embark on a swash buckling basketball journey for xbox one aboard the cruise ship no matter the journey be ready to call alongside the best ballers in the biggest basketball community now they said this is for the xbox game description I'm pretty sure it's the same for the PS5 and the PS4. So it's nothing to worry about. But with that being said, man, I'm out. 
check out those other videos I posted uh, two, three days ago. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment and let me know what uh, which one you're going to get. And hit that subscribe button. I will be coming out with some more news anytime anything comes out. I see you when I see you. I'm out.